Hello everyone and welcome to this learning video where we are going to learn about the definite integral. Okay, so definite integration uh, is defined for a function over the interval a b and it is given by integral a to b f of x dx is equal to f of x a to b f of b minus f of a where what is this uh, f of x this f of x is nothing but integral okay this f is uh, integral of f of x integral of f of x this is this is upper limit these are limits upper and this is lower limits so upper limits lower limits okay integral and integral so this is nothing but the definite integration and as i already told you this represents a number because uh, all these upper limit lower limit would be number and when we substitute the value of this in the function you will be getting a numerical value okay and geometrically if you want to see so uh, suppose you have this y is equal to f of x to be the curve this is x axis this is negative x axis y axis and y dash axis okay so if you want to find out the integration of this f of x from a to b so it geometrically represents the area under the curve y is equal to fx the y axis and the line x is equal to a and x is equal to b so this is nothing but the geometrical interpretation of this okay De uh, definite integration now uh, after this, uh, we have some more uh, properties on this definite integration. So, let us see now those properties. Okay. Properties. So, these properties are very uh, handy when we solve problems. So, the very first is integral a to b f of x dx is nothing but integral a to b f of t dt okay so this is the property where you can uh, uh, which property which says the value of the integral remains the same if you change the variable that is from x to t provided the limit should not be changed okay so this is one property the second property is uh, Integral a to b f of x dx is nothing but minus of integral b to a f of x dx. So it is like uh, you can change the limits upper to lower or lower to upper by giving the minus sign. If you if you do the process two times, then minus minus become plus, and you will be getting this again. Okay, then the third property. Third property is uh, widely used uh, when you solve the problem, which says integration of a to b f of x dx is integral a to c f of x dx plus integral c to b f of x dx. Okay, so this property I call this property to be Chala property okay so with the help of uh, this property you can just break the interval from uh, a to b as a to c and c to b so these are three properties now we again have some properties so just uh, give me a minute to just write it down all those and just uh, let you know these properties so the fourth property is fourth property is integration from a to b of course integration from 0 to 2a sorry integration from 0 to 2a f of x dx can be written as integration 0 to a f of x dx plus plus 0 to a f of 2a minus x dx okay so this is one of the property hardly we make use of such property 
okay then the next property is about uh, integration 0 to a f of x dx is equal to is equal to what is it integration 0 to a f of x dx is integration of f of uh, a minus x dx 0 to a and then we have one more property coming up here which is the integration from 0 to na f of x dx is same as is same as n times integration 0 to a f of x dx where f of x is same as f of x plus a so this uh, indicates this function is periodic with period a just like sin x can be written as uh, sin x plus 2 pi so we call it as this function is a periodic function sin is a periodic function with period 2 pi okay like this and we have the very important property which is coming up now that property is used widely when you solve the problems so that property says integration from minus a to a f of x dx is equal to is equal to 2 times integration 0 to a f of x dx if if f of x is even function and its value is 0 if f of x is odd function okay so this property we make use of this property in uh, solving the problems of Fourier series Fourier transform this is very very handy now look at these the terminologies now f of x is even so when we call a function is even we call function f of x is even if f of minus x is f of x function is even and if you change x by minus x and if you are getting minus f of x then we call it as odd function so this is for even and this is for odd these are the definition if you want some example i can take it so the for example example for this is say cos x because cos of minus x is plus cos x x to the power 4 right x to the power 6 and what for odd say sin x x x cube etc okay now these are just the things now i would like you to go for checking this function e to the power x so what can you say about this function e to the power x just pause the video for a few seconds come up with your answer and resume the video so you may be wondering this function is neither even nor odd because if this is f of x what is e to the power minus x e to the power minus x if you replace x y we are not getting the same and not getting plus or minus something like so this is not neither even nor odd okay so i hope uh, these properties and some terminologies that we have discussed in this video is clear to you so thank you for watching and good day